Hello and welcome. A quick one here. It's gonna be a really short one, um, and it's gonna be. So let me just go ahead and just play this first before I do anything. I'm sure you understand. So let's go. Why I'm going to do a breakdown of this intro is because actually the song was actually done or released about a decade now and so many people do not know how to play the intro of the song so it's actually simple I'm gonna do this again and after then I'm gonna do a breakdown for everyone who needs to learn this so let's go again from the top It's actually it's simple music that's been played here it's just the way it's embellished makes it a whole lot more complex than you think so I'm gonna go along the chords it's nice I have a new app that gives the names of chords so you could just work with that I'm also gonna be calling them out to you but you could also get the notes on the staff and then that works really fine here so the first chord is probably moving from it's first of all the song is on the key of F major F major and then they move from G to B flat to F to E to D flat A flat A B flat D flat E and G and then we go to D and now we go A Everything. I'm gonna play the song one more time and then you're gonna see how I play this I'm not gonna go over bird doing all those embellishments I was doing I'll just play it simple so in case you want to add your own upper structures or anything embellishments or whatever nuances you could actually go what I'm gonna play now is gonna give you uh, an understanding of the, the kind of voicings or the actual voices I will use aside the upper structure. So let's just go again from the top. Come on, From here, you see what is happening. The first chord is is an is a G minor eleven, G minor eleven, here. On the G minor eleven, so this is the chord. And this is so nice. You can see the key is on the screen. So I didn't need to say G, D, D, F, B flat, and C, and then F and A. Everything is on screen, so you could have this for yourself. So first chord, second chord is a B flat major ninth. Flat major ninth, 
and then the second chord. And this is a, 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 an, a C over F bass, a C major over F, F bass. So, a C major chord over F as bass. And then, then back to, so from here, here, to C. And then the next chord is, is, is an E minor level too. So from here, structures that actually make it a little bit different so first chord G minor 11 B flat major 9 and then C triad over C triad over F bass and then E minor 11 and then the next chord here is going to be an altered chord D flat altered which is a dominant 7 sharp 5 sharp 9 So it is a, a, a D flat seven sharp five sharp nine, and then it is more or less an altered chord. And then so from here, it's the next chord. So you have all, all your notes on the screen. You have all of them, and you go down to. So it's the same chord. You go same chord from D flat. You go to A flat. Then you do a chromatic walk up to A and to B flat. So from B flat, A flat, A, B flat, go back to your D flat, and then your D, and then you end on, on G minor 11. So we're going to Sauce two sauce four. D seven sauce two sauce four. And then you go to the E seven sauce two sauce four. So whatever upper structures you want to add is up to you. You could do whatever you want. So I'm gonna play this one more time, and then you could always rewind if it's too fast. You could always pause and then get it. So I'm gonna do this one more time again. I 
does it. Does it just for the intro of the song, and then I want you to put some work into this, and then try to see how it comes out better. Make sure anytime you're singing the evil medley in your church, you are actually playing the right notes. You're actually doing the right stones, the right runs and movement. You could use this as basis for anything you want to do. And feel free to ask me if you have questions anyway. So hope this helps. Bye for now.